Um, we've got some really, really great speakers today, and I, I'm sort of slightly biased because I help choose a lot of them, but we've got a really broad, diverse mixture of speakers from agencies, brands, associations, etc. Um, I'm not going to go into them in detail, but certainly something I particularly want to hear is uh, towards the end, Paul Burney, of the, uh, who's the uh, CMO of the Mobile Marketing Association, talking about where mobile marketing will be in 2015. Um, I must admit, I don't know myself, and I run a mobile marketing agency. Anyway, just a few sort of stats and bits of information. I must apologise, my first slide was nicked by Google, so Google, whilst being lovely, sometimes can be evil, um, but it is a good slide. I thought instead I'd sort of focus on what is mobile in the first place. Um, depends on the, the way you look at it. Some people would suggest mobile is no longer a mobile phone, as Apple managed to prove with the iPhone 5, where mapping doesn't seem to work more to the battery. Um, but actually, it's very unclear as to where mobile starts and stops, and where tablets start and stop. Now, I think you'd all accept on the far left is, is a mobile phone, an iPhone 5. On the far right is a tablet. Does anyone know what the term for the thing in the middle is these days? It's a oh, yeah. Google put his hand up. I'm not letting him do it. Absolutely. The general consensus is, though, that under about five inches, it's a phone. About five to seven-ish, it's a tablet. And then it's a tablet above that. <laughs> Um, and people assume that if you sort of knock up something which works across all those devices, you're fine. But that really misses the point, because mobile, and by mobile I mean everything from phone to tablet, is not about screen size, it's about the context in which the device is used. Um, I used to be coach, I, I used to be chairman of the Mobile Marketing Association, and I just wanted to put up one stat from the MMA, even though I'm wearing my own IPM hat today. This is a strange stat, and I'm very, very suspicious of stats and data as a whole. Because I'd rather like, if anyone reads Douglas Adams, 42 isn't the answer necessarily to everything. I don't think 7% is the answer to everything either. What it does show is, according to MMA research, to get the most bang for your buck, if you're, if you're investing, you should invest 7% of your global marketing budget on mobile to, live, to deliver the best results. I think rather than sticking to the 7%, we should use that as a, a trend rather than a hard and fast figure. A few stats, partly from Google and some other people. Um, these days, smartphone penetration over 60%, and 8 in 10 smartphone shoppers use mobile in store. Um, frequent mobile shoppers actually spend more, um, those who use smartphones. And fantastic news. Um, number of purchases via mobile in 2012 in the UK uh, tripled, uh, so all good, we can all retire in the life of luxury. However, there's some bad news as well. Uh, in the US, 34% of all US smartphone users cancel their purchase whilst in store. That's because they check reviews, um, they um, sent pictures of their planned purchase to a loved one, um, or they check prices. So what that means is, in the old days, when a customer walked into a store and the store owned the customer, that whole idea has been turned on its head. These days, it's very much the customer who controls the relationship with the brand and the retailer. So on the one hand, you've got this general belief, which I think most people would accept, that mobile is the ultimate personal device, and it's brilliant at driving loyalty, but it's also brilliant at driving disloyalty, more so uh, than any other thing. So, uh, to finish off and then pass on to our speakers, a couple of misconceptions. I think, um, particularly in the agency world and more the London-centric agency world, everyone assumes that a smartphone equals an iPhone. Now, I'm not saying this um, because we've got a bloke what is from Google here, um, but much more because I think the figures tell a very different story. So, out of interest, does anyone know, in the last three months, in the top five countries in Europe, what percentage of phone sales were for Android. So I'll, I'll give three uh, levels, 40%, 55%, and 70%. So who thinks Android sold 40% in the last three months? You know where this is going. 55%. It's actually 70%. Um, and growing all the time. 
So don't just focus on the iPhone, even if you've got one. The second one is, be slightly careful about QR codes. The use of QR codes these days is getting more and more bizarre. Remember the way a QR code should be used. To finish off three slightly more light-hearted stats um, from our chums at Ipsos. Oh, sorry, Coke. Yes, Coke. Coke are brilliant. What Coke do with mobile is very straightforward. Um, I'll turn this one out. Yeah, and it doesn't work either. The Coke approach is to spend all their money on mobile. Um, their approach is 70-20-10. So 70% of their mobile budget, which is about 5% of marketing now, is spent on day-to-day -day straightforward stuff which is safe, doesn't require that much time to do, and is a, broadly a banker. 20% is then focused on uh, an extension of what they do and the innovative stuff, which will hopefully be the following year or two years' time, 70%. And the final 10% is basically, let's take a punt money. They're totally happy to lose that, but their view is, unless they experiment with new things, they won't actually find out what is going to drive them towards the next decade. So to finish off with the stats, did you know that 70% of smartphone owners would rather give up alcohol rather than their phone? I'm not one of those, and I have a feeling in this room uh, probably aren't 70% either. 33% um, of smartphone owners would give up sex. All I can say is that was a UK study. Uh, in France, the figure I'm sure would be much lower. Um, Surprise, surprise, if anyone's got a teenager, and I've got way too many of them, they use their phones <coughs> everywhere. Um, apparently, bathroom is the polite way of putting it. And finally, and rather more depressingly, if you have younger children, more children between the ages of two and five know how to use a smartphone than can tie their own laces. So, um, without further ado, uh, I would like to hand you on to Ian Carrington. Ian has very kindly accepted to be our keynote speaker. He is Head of Mobile Social Advertising and just a general god at Google for UK and EMEA. And not only is he going to talk about mobile, he's taken a very, very brave step, which a couple of other speakers have as well, doing some live demos as well. So without further ado, Ian, thanks very much.